Well, looks like you guys really enjoyed that Ronaldo video. I mean, within the first month of uploading, I only had about like 90 subscribers and it had only 54 views. And then, uh, yeah, nothing happened and all of a sudden, bam! Would you look at that? Yeah, it's awesome. All right, so um, definitely there's a... Uh, a lot more of you guys here so uh yeah i think you know it's about time right don't you think you know uh i did promise a video to come in but you know uh yeah that, ne that video never came but here we are now and that's all that matters so thank you guys so much for supporting me i never thought this would actually happen uh, especially getting 200 over 200,000 views that's insane so let's get right into it and it's true, Harry Kane was a gunner. Yes, he played for Arsenal. He did say, in quotes, Ya yeah, gunners, ya. Yeah. Ya gunners, ya! Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! And if you don't believe me, here's visual proof of him wearing an Arsenal jersey in the pitch. And yeah, uh, that's it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Pete, okay, sorry, I won't, I won't do that to you guys. But I wasn't lying the fact that he played in Arsenal. Well, I mean, not as of recently, like, let's just run, rewind back a little bit when he was a lad at the age of eight. And so this is the youth team photo of Arsenal. And uh, can you guess which one Harry Kane is? Yep, that one, the chubby one. And you're like, okay, cool, so what? Uh, what if I told you that he also got kicked out of the team by his coaches. Which is interesting because it might be one of the main reasons as to why he's playing for the Spurs. As you guys know, the London Derby, Spurs versus Arsenal, they're pretty big rivals. So basically in this video, I'm going to explain his long journey, and definitely it was not easy, to becoming one of the best English players in the world. Welcome to Strikers HD, a channel based around the world of football from compilations to info vids like this one. Comment down below what you'd like to see next, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Alright, so let's address the elephant in the room. Who the heck made that photoshopped image? Now, I can't tell you guys, but can you guess what team he supports? I'm going to give you three seconds. Three, two, one, Manchester United. Of course it's a Man United fan. You know how their fans be in making photoshopped images from Ronaldo coming back to Man U to, you know... Coutinho coming to Man U, e even like just Neymar coming, like all this stuff, I don't know, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. But that's besides the point, back to Harry Kane, so basically, let's rewind back to where he originally started before he went to the Arsenal Youth Club, he played for the Ridgeway Rovers, which was actually the same team that David Beckham played in his youth career. And so clearly from there, the Arsenal scouts saw him as a potential youth player to put in their development team. Even though he was chungus looking, the fact that he still got in is pretty impressive. But eventually he did get kicked off and it's for two reasons. One, he wasn't big enough and two, he wasn't quick enough. As for big enough, it, it, it's not about how much Maltesers you can eat. It's more of the fact of your height, your structure, and your weight. And the second thing is, you know, he clearly hasn't been running a lot, which is why he's carrying a lot of weight. So that's why he's not quick enough. So he came back to Ridgeway Rovers and then decided to quit football altogether and start playing American football in the NFL. <laughs> Nah, but seriously, he did come back to Ridgeway Rovers, and you would think uh, he would quit, but no. This was actually just the beginning. Harry Kane said, in quote, Looking back on it now, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, because it gave me a drive that wasn't there before. And that drive was well needed, because if you look at his youth career and senior career combined, you can tell that he's been through a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to need to take a breath so I can tell all the clubs that he's been at. <sighs> He went from Ridgeway Rovers to Arsenal, got dropped by Arsenal, back to Ridgeway Rovers, then to Watford, and then he went to Tottenham after that, then Tottenham he got on a loan to Leighton Orient, and then on another loan to Millwall, and then on another loan to Norwich City, and then another loan to Leicester City, and finally in 2015 making it back to Tottenham.
That is absolutely insane. And don't forget, he also had to go through the national team from U17 England team all the way to the U21 and finally to the official men's team. So clearly nothing was stopping the hurricane. Get it? Harry Kane? Hurricane? Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. And when it was time for his first London Derby against Arsenal, he said in quote, We were in the tunnel and I thought, okay, it took me 12 years, but we'll see who was right and who was wrong. And guess what he scored the winner at the 86th minute amazing amazing better story than twilight and look at him now he made it up to the champions league final last year he led to england to the fourth place their highest finish since 1990 he finished as the top goal scorer winning the golden boot and he also holds the joint record for the most player of the month awards at six. So clearly, Kane had the last laugh. But the moral of the story is, as Rocky has said it best, but it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. As long as you can be persistent, you will always reach your goals. Hard work will always pay off, and Harry Kane is a living proof of that. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Please share, and yeah, see you later, guys.